I don't understand why there's a five dollar late charge on my bill. Let me take a look at that. Well, it says here your bill was due on the third, and you paid on the seventh. Exactly, I paid. You paid your bill late. It was due on the third. You paid on the seventh. Exactly, I paid on the seventh. Why am I getting charged a late fee? I, I want you to call customer service. I'm not calling customer service. What would I tell them? Hi, I have this guy here who paid his bill four days late. Can we please credit him the fee that he got charged? So you're telling me I'm getting charged five dollar late fee for paying my bill four days late? That doesn't sound fucking fair. The computer that generates your bill, it doesn't know if you're one day late, four days late, or 30 days late. Oh, so the big bad fucking computer doesn't understand the difference between four and 30 days? It doesn't sound too fucking smart to me. You're not all as smart as you are, sir. What are you, some sort of fucking smart ass? I'm not being some sort of dumbass. Listen, you motherfucker. I want you to get on the phone with customer service right now. If you don't, I'm gonna go outside your store, stand there, and tell everybody who tries to come in here and buy something how big a fucking scumbags you guys are. Over a five dollar late fee. I think it's a little bit much. You're missing the point. I'm missing the point. Listen, you're just a fucking bitch ass. You know what? I am gonna stand outside all day, and I am gonna tell everybody who tries to come in here how big a fucking asshole you guys are. Over five dollars? Have fun. That. Said, no, I'm not gonna go over there. But the what are you talking about over here? <laughs> so what was that asshole's problem? That douchebag? Yeah. He wanted me to credit his account because he paid his bill late. He's a fucking idiot. Look at him out there. No one's getting past him. Nobody's. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second, man. Don't go in there. What? You're gonna fucking scumbags in there, man. They're gonna charge you a $5 late fee anyway. Why the fuck? Dude, no. I, 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 I do business on my phone. I can't have you shut it off. Dude, get a phone to Verizon. Straight down the fucking line. No, man. Don't go in there. No, man. Fuck this. I'm paying the final. You fucking dead. Fuck him. Fuck him. Screw him. How was your date? Uh, it, was, it was pretty good. Uh, she, she, she seemed a little bit crazy, though. Yeah? Where'd you meet her? I met her on uh, the, the internet. <laughs> you say, a crazy internet girl. Yeah, we're actually, we're gonna meet up again after work at a bar, and um, she keeps talking about this, this book that she wrote. She wants to talk about it more. It's not the Bible. I don't know, it's, apparently it's changed her life, so, so I don't know, she, she seems a little bit off though. Yeah? yeah? It's a pretty big statement coming from you, nutcase. is called This Book Will Change Your Life. And it really has. Really? Yeah, I, I used to be so depressed, but this book helps me make it through my day. What, 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 what's it about? It gives you a, an assignment to do every day. An assignment? Yeah, a daily assignment. Um, for example, today's assignment was that I had to draw chalk circles from where I parked my car all the way to the door of my job, and then when I got off work, I had to hop from circle to circle all the way back to my car. I don't quite get it. How does drawing chalk circles make you feel less depressed? It's not the hopping, per se. It's, it's the assignment. You know, my life was so mundane before. Now I have something to look forward to every single day. All right. Well, if that makes you happy, then if that works out pretty well. Uh, so how do you choose your assignments? When do you choose your assignments? I, uh, I pick it randomly every night. And what's tomorrow's assignment going to be? I can't tell you. Unless... Tell you, Simons? Bro, something does not sound right with this bitch, man. She sounds like a real fucking, uh, I don't know, whack job? C come on, she, she's not a whack job. She, she's actually really cute. You, you, you know, I mean, I, I never get to take cute girls like this. They, they, they never give a guy like me a chance, and I, I finally got one. And so, we're gonna be going on date number three now. Are you going out with her again? Bro, you're out of your fucking mind. I'm out of my fucking mind? Yeah. Come on, you would do the same fucking thing. I mean, it's not like I want to marry this girl or anything. I just want to get a little less. Just, just, just a little less. All right, no. I understand that. I understand that. But do you ever think that uh, maybe one of these assignments is to uh, date a nutcase like you? 
What are you guys gonna be doing? Drawing chalk circles? Drawing chalk circles? What is this guy talking about? Drawing chalk circles? No, we're not gonna be drawing chalk circles. We actually picked a legitimate assignment out of the book. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. You gotta be fucking with me, man. I'm not fucking with you. Do I sound like I'm fucking with you? No, I'm not fucking with you. I don't know. If, if your, like, taste in women is anything but your fucking apartment with this noise, I don't know. So, what's this assignment? Do you really want to know? Yeah, I do. I'll ask the people upstairs. They know. What is it? The, you, you, come on. You really want to know what the assignment is? Are you, are you that interested? Yes. It's the only thing I want to know right now. Fine. Fine. The, the assignment is to play a practical joke on... Total stranger. Yeah? That's stupid, man. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Stupidest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, it is. Well, fuck you. Fuck me? You're the one who's getting fucked. Weirdo. Yeah, let me get two slices on the water. Give me five dollars. Thanks, but uh, are you forgetting something? What? If I'm reading this sign correct, I think my meal's on the house. I remember you. You're the asshole from the cell phone store. Yeah, that's right. So where's my money? Because this sign says if I don't get a receipt, this meal's free. What the hell are you talking about? What pizzeria guarantees a free meal if you don't get a receipt? I mean, if you order a pizza, it doesn't get there in under a half hour. I understand that. I, I heard of it before. But... No receipt, free meal, that doesn't make any sense. What the hell do you have this sign here for? I think you're just trying to piss me off, buddy. I don't know what your problem is. I never did anything to you. All I know is I want my $5 back because this sign says if I don't get a receipt, I get my money back. Look, buddy, I didn't put that fucking sign there. And I'm not gonna honor it. If you don't like it, there's the door. You just opened it. You didn't make this sign, who did? For all I know, you fucking put it there. Oh, look, it's written on the back of your store stationery. You know what, why don't you get the fuck out of my place? It caused me enough trouble over the past few days. You know, I have to admit, having an assignment to look forward to all day really did help my mind get stuff off my mind that would normally depress me. I mean, I'm very glad it actually helped a lot. I'm glad it helped. Uh, who would have thought that, that uh, playing a practical joke on, on this new pizzeria that I ate lunch at would be so satisfying? I mean, I hope it didn't cost too much. <laughs> if only we could have seen their faces. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's a square, but you've got rounded corners. 